Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Today we are going to make a baked rice pudding and this is what it looks like. This pudding, it's a milk-based pudding. It has a wonderfully creamy texture and nice vanilla flavor. Now you can serve this warm from the oven, room temperature, cold, whatever you like. And I like it just by itself. Today I've dressed it up with a little whipped cream and chopped nuts. You could stir in some dried fruit like raisins or fresh fruit. I like it with bananas or you could even just serve it with a dollop of jam. So the first thing that you will need to do is preheat your oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 150 degrees Celsius. Now you will need at least a six cup container or oven proof container that's 1.4 liters. I'm using a 9 inch that's 23 centimeter deep dish pie plate but if you have a Pyrex you know baking dish you could use that as well long as it's at least six cups because at six cups it's going to fill it up a lot so if you have a larger one like an eight cup that'd be even better and you want to grease you know butter or spray the inside of your uh, dish with a non-stick spray, but I'm using butter. <laughs> Why not? Add a little butter flavor. So I just melt a little butter and then just use a pastry brush to do that. So there we go. Now rice pudding. There are two types. Today we're going to make a baked rice pudding. If you go to our joybaking.com website or our YouTube channel, I actually have like a stove top rice pudding. So there's two ways to make it. If you're at home, you know, you're going to be home for the day or part of the day. I like to bake, do it in the oven because that way I don't, there's no work to it. All I got to do is stir it every half hour and that's it. So that's why I like to do it. The first thing you will need is four cups, which is 960 milliliters or grams of milk. You got some options here. You could use like a whole, like a cow's milk, a whole milk, which I'm using here, or you could use a reduced fat. Difference, of course, whole milk, more fat, you'll get a more creamy textured rice pudding. But if you didn't want to use a uh, cow's milk, you could use like coconut milk, you could use soy milk, uh, like a nut milk. So, you know, whatever you want, you can experiment with it. And while you could make this, just put it in the oven cold, what I like to do is warm up my milk because obviously if you put warm milk in the oven, it's going to take less time than if you use cold because then it takes extra time. So whatever you want to do, but I just put it in a saucepan and just quickly heat it up on the stove. Put it like so. And then I like to add just a pinch of salt and one tablespoon, 13 grams of butter. You don't have to add the butter, but you know, a little richness. I just cut it up into little pieces. And I'm just going to warm it up just until you start to see the bubbles. You don't have to boil it or anything. I just want to get that coldness off. So just till warm. Okay, so looks good. Really, if I touch it, it's warm to the touch. And you want that butter to melt. So now I'm just going to carefully pour that into my baking dish. So as you can see, you need at least a six cup. If you have a bigger one, probably better because I'm going to have to very carefully <laughs> transfer this to the oven. So now all we need to do is stir in our rice. You will need a third of a cup. That's 65 grams of, I like to use a white rice. Now you have some options here. My personal preference is today I'm using a short grain. You see, white rice. You could use a long grain white rice. You could use, I've also made it with bismati or jasmine. So you can try different ones. And all I'm going to do is put it, sprinkle it in here. 
If you wanted, I'm going to make this vanilla flavor. We're going to add the vanilla at the end. If you wanted to, sometimes I like it to have a little bit of a cinnamon flavor, so you can add a quarter of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon at this point, and sugar. Uh, this is kind of up to you. How sweet do you want your rice pudding? Some people don't like it very sweet. I'm going to say, for my personal taste, I like to add between a third and a half a cup, so 65 to 100 grams. For the short grain, which I'm using today, I'm just using a third of a cup, 65 grams of granulated white sugar. And could you use brown sugar? Yeah, you could use brown sugar as well. Sometimes when I do the long grain, and I don't know why, maybe it's just me, I like to add a half a cup, 100 grams. But, you know, like I said, if you don't want it sweet, very sweet, you could add like a quarter of a cup, 50 grams of um, sugar. See, it's kind of variable. You can make it to your own personal taste. So now I'm just going to stir that. And that really is the work, <laughs> if you can call that work. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to carefully put this in the oven for two hours. And... But I am going to, all I'm going to do, I'm going to leave it in the oven, and every half hour, I'm going to just stir it. And, but the last half hour, I'm going to stir it every 10 minutes, because I want to, you know, make sure if it, you know, depending on your oven, it might be baked in a little less time, so I tend to check it, and what happens is it will be, the liquid will become, the milk will become thick, and then just try a little. You want the rice to be tender. I don't like it mushy, so, you know. I am going to come back on at like uh, an hour and a half, and I'll show you what it looks like at that point, but two hours in the oven. Carefully. <laughs> Okay, so now I wanted to show you, we are at, it's been baking for an hour and a half. So I wanted to show you what it looks like. So you can see there's like a, I guess you crust or a skin on top. So what I do, you can just use a spatula or really, or a whisk, I should say. You can use spatula or even just a spoon. I just want to give this a stir, and I just stir that skin right back into my rice pudding. Now, this has thickened up from when we started, but, I mean, I've done this a few times, so I know for, in my oven, this is going to take another half hour, but I still like to stir it every 10 minutes from now on. And it will thicken up. You can see it's still pretty liquidy. It will thicken up, but it still will be a lot of liquid when we finish up. So what you could do, if this is the first time and you're not sure about your oven, I would check it, even now. Taste a little. And see, you want to see how your rice is doing. It's still ten it's tender, but still with a little chew, so it will need that half hour. So I'm just going to carefully put it back into the oven for another half hour, stirring it every 10 minutes. So our baked rice pudding is done. So I'm just going to give it a stir. You can see it has thickened up a lot, but there's still a lot of liquid. But keep in mind, as this cools down, it's going to thicken up even more. 
give it a stir and then we'll try it make sure yeah the rice is tender but it's not mushy so that's good that's how I like it so now I'm going to add one teaspoon four grams of pure vanilla extract and just whisk that in if you wanted you know if you added that ground cinnamon at the beginning and the other way I like it besides just vanilla is with ground cinnamon and then I like raisins so what you could do now is uh, stir in about a quarter of a cup 30 grams of raisins you could use golden raisins the dark raisins or even currants or you could have other dried fruits if you want so that that's good so what i'm going to do it's a little hot to eat right now now if you want to get that little a bit of a skin on top just let it cool down just like this if I don't particularly like that skin or crust, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to just take, you could take a piece of foil or a plate and just put it on top. So that's what I'm going to do and let it cool down a little and then we'll come back and try some. So I let the rice pudding, I didn't let it cool for very long, maybe five minutes. I do like it warm. So I'll just give it a stir. You can see still pretty liquidy I guess the word and I want to show you what I'll do is I'll just spoon now you can serve this if I'm by myself I just use a bowl <laughs> nice big bowl but if you wanted to if you had company and you want to get fancy dance then you could use like one of these pretty dessert cups so as you can see a lot of liquid now take this and contrast it to this one which I made a couple days ago so you can see I'll just show you this is pretty and liquidy and this one maybe I'll use a different spoon won't be hot this one this one I made a couple days ago chilled it in the refrigerator so you can see the difference of how much it will thicken so that, you know, is part of which way do you like it? I like it always. <laughs> I like it warm. I like it room temperature. I like it cold. I haven't really met a rice pudding that I didn't like. <laughs> but I'm not going to put whipped cream on it. I'm just going to, normally if I'm by myself, I just have it like this. Oh. I did use whole milk, so it's wonderfully rich. Tastes the dairy taste, which I love. Then you have that vanilla, and then you know the rice. Now, short grain versus long grain. I don't know whether I said it before. If you use a long grain rice, you're right, the rice is going to be, the, the pudding is going to be a little more little chewy, I would say, than the short grain, which is just like almost creamy. It just kind of melts. So I like both. I can't, sometimes I make it short, sometimes with the long grain. I have tried it with the basmati, which I like as well. So this is something that you can really experiment with, the type of milk. Like sometimes... You might want to add some cow's milk, like some whole milk, and then add like a little bit of, of coconut milk in there just to get a little bit of coconut flavor. Or like I said, you could use um, uh, your nut milks, so like almond, soy, really. Have fun with it. And add your vanilla, add your cinnamon. It's, it's up to you. Now, once this cools down, you can put it in the fridge if you... And it, you can store it, I don't know, three, four days. Not that it ever lasts that long, because <laughs> I love rice pudding. I'll have it for breakfast. So you must try this. And until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski at joybaking.com.